Talk to us, K-Wall. This is our spot. Is Sheep hunting. Missionary, for the night. Missionary Ridge Productions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poop too. Ooh, it smells good in here, like pesto. Talk to me, K-Wall. What are we up to? Where are we and what are we doing? Uh, I can't tell you where we are. We're at an undisclosed location. Okay. And uh, right now we're, we're working on getting calories in us so we can be strong for tomorrow's hike in because it's an eight mile hike in like badasses. So we got to get calorie up. That's nerd talk for we're cooking dinner. <laughs> it's a little rainy out. We're a little cold. Our tummies don't feel good. We're all a little cranky. We're not cranky. You're cranky. You're always cranky. Stop walking closer. <laughs> Stop. Point the camera over there in the clouds. That's what we're walking into. Uh, but we have pack covers. Gators. I want to give a big shout out to my awesome wife for my sweet gators, and I'm freaking glad I have them. These are my wife's gators. <laughs> yeah, they look like it. <laughs> you see your faggy gators? Dude, they don't even cover his shoes. <laughs> They're snowshoeing gators. Of all of them, that is the best. Kowalski, what's going on? We didn't snow down. First time at Hasek we got snowed on, so it's kind of a momentous occasion. Momentous. Slippery through there. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost eight miles in. We're uh, it's snowing pretty good. We're cold. We're wet. We're tired. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna get Kowalski a sheep. I'm in bad shape, fellas. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make you out of here. Ah, get some friction going on. And then... Alright, folks. Put the hands by the ball. We just got here. We just got to camp. Here's Drew and Kowalski. And myself. It is an, ac an actual blizzard. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's so cool. We barely got camp set up. A little hypothermic. Well, it, rain, frost it rained on us it, the whole way up, so we were soaking wet. And then up here, it's like 22 degrees and snowing. And we got really too cold. It's a recipe for disaster. At this point, we're just hoping to, to make it out of here alive, really. <laughs> We've, we have... We have totally forgotten that we're even here to hunt sheep. We're just kind of thinking. It's like you can see the mountain. We gotta survive. We gotta eat. We gotta stay dry somehow. And Lord have mercy. Hopefully, be able to hike out of here tomorrow. Good. I mean, I. Tonight, boys. Full disclosure. <laughs> Gentlemen. Yeah. What's going on? Just chilling in the tent. Why? There's a there's a winter storm warning in effect out there. We've already got about eight inches since we since we got here. We actually like seriously have. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh. storm warning in effect. It's September twenty fourth. Yep. September twenty fourth. Uh, no, today's the twenty third. Oh, isn't it? it's the first day of fall. Summer it's officially ended. Twenty third. Summer officially ended, fall began. We decided we'd go on our annual uh, U Bighorn sheep hunt, which is quite enjoyable for the most part. I mean, we've had one other run in with bad weather. And, uh, 
Well, as you can see, here we are. Stuck in the tent at 3 p.m. And there's not a lot of hunting to be done. The gun is frozen. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, the bolt's frozen. The gun. Hey, we're trying to warm it up. <laughs> Tell him, Ben. I don't even have a lot to say. <laughs> ben is beyond words. Not at 12,200 feet sitting in a blizzard on September 23rd. Like eight inches of snow in a blizzard. <clears throat> and now we're gonna go look for sheep. I apologize to everyone. The, the footage is shaky, but I'm shaky. This is the reality right now. Hi guys. <clears throat> Just went up into the the Pasig Bowl and uh, tried to see if we could see any sheepies. And there's nothing to see. We are literally the only creatures in the bowl. And then uh, we we're thinking about going up into Hasek Lake, but the mist started rolling in. You can probably see it behind me and all around me. And then it started snowing again. So time to head back. Back to camp. <laughs> eat some food. Five o'clock. Yep. Time to go. We got Mr. Batitude over here. <laughs> I want everyone to know. I'm in a great mood. I want everyone to know that at one point today on the way up, Drew had a full out mental breakdown. I think I even, those were the words I it, used. Hey, yeah. <laughs> right, Drew, are you okay? Yeah, I'm having a mental breakdown. <laughs> <coughs> Just want to check in. Here we are. We're back to camp. Um, there's literally eight inches of snow at camp. And uh, we're, we're doing better though than we were. We, it was like a blizzard and we had to hunker down in the tent and just lay there and be a little bit miserable. But now we're doing better and we hiked up above Timberline to look but we didn't see any sheep right now. Um, probably pretty normal because it's been blizzarding all day. I'm thinking that tomorrow morning is going to give us a little bit of a, of a better chance. Um, but regardless, we're making a memory. We're having some fun. And uh, stay tuned because it's going to be worth watching. I spy with my little eye a Kowalski. Everything's harder in the winter. Yeah. Also, for anybody watching, Kowalski said that he would live up here for a full winter with nothing more than a canvas tent, a chainsaw, and 20 bullets for a million dollars. I would thrive. Oh God, it's snowing again. And we're sitting in our tent eating. Oh God, we look miserable. <laughs> we are here. miserable. No, I'm having a good time. I'm a happy camper. We made it through the night. <laughs> um, it was absolutely freezing last night. Here's Drew. Do I say something? You always say something, turn around. No, I don't want to. <laughs> We're here as a team. We're here to pick each other up when we get down. A wise man once sung me a song about hunting friends and how they have to lean on each other when it gets tough. You smell like farts. The whole tent smells like farts. <laughs> it's a product of sleeping in there. This is no joke up here. Here's our reality. Kind of hard to. Oh, he's like 17 outside. Yeah, kind of hard to focus on killing a sheep when you got to worry about your own well being a little bit. A lot of bit. So I'm going to go and make coffee for everyone. Hopefully, that's a nice pick me up. I'm dehydrated, I know that, but I'm glad because I didn't have to pee in the middle of the night. We all did a, a uh, like, before bed. Uh, everyone go pee at like nine and we ran out and peed and I've never been colder in my life than my like my panicked middle of the night pee session. But Kowalski's up. Oh, and he's peeing. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, right, Kowalski. <laughs> That's right. Here. What do we got going on, buddy? This is my shirt. Nice and warm. Does that not look inviting to just put on? Yeah. Can you can you break it? 
It's like flimsy. It's like feels. It's like the consistency of cardboard. Oh boy. I wish we had the, the camera out five minutes ago when I first got it out, because it's. This is the reality, put folks. It, you gonna put it on for our hunt? I'm gonna put it on right now. I gotta layer up. Tell the camera what we're doing this morning. Tell them the game plan. All right. So the tell them the situation. Here's the situation. We hiked up yesterday, and we're here to camp now for sheep camp, and we got into what would be considered like the the worst. I gotta fix my armor. The uh, the worst situation you can be weather wise, because what happened is, is when we started hiking, it was about 45 degrees and rainy and pouring rain. Um, and then we're up here now, like another you know eight miles in, and it's now 17 degrees and snowing. So we're fighting an uphill battle because we got soaked on the way up, and we made it through the night. In fact, we we did it. We're doing okay. But the problem is, is it's so freaking cold that we can't filter water to eat. And it, it's also taken forever to boil our food to cook our freeze-dried meals. Boiling the water. So the end result of that is, is that we're now out of fuel. And it's, and it's morning one. And to put that into perspective, we used half as much fuel in three days last year. So I, I wouldn't say that the fuel is our like unpreparedness fault. It just is a reality of our circumstances. We thought we'd be able to filter drinking water and things like that. Um, so yeah, but what we're going to do, we're going to hike at least up to Hossack. We're going to get warmed up. We're going to see if we can see something. If we can, Kowalski's going to lay the smack down on that U. And if we can't, we got to go home anyway. Should we do one more? I second what he said. <laughs> do we have room for Yeah, we should do one more. September 24th, folks. This is what we're dealing with. Yeah. Are you filming me? As we hike down this mountain on this faithful day, some may believe that we left empty handed. I, however, choose to believe we left as better friends and better outdoorsmen, and I don't even think it's on me. It wasn't even on me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> As the stream trickled down the mountain, so too did we. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Come here, Kowalski. Well, we didn't see any sheep today. We saw two mule deer, and that's it. And we were out of water. We're well, not out of water, but no means to get clean water, and everything was wet still, and didn't see any sheep. So, decided to call it. There's nothing we can really do about it. I think we made the best choice. I don't like the decision, because I wanted to kill a sheep, but we didn't see a sheep to kill. So. We're heading down. What do you have to say for yourself, mister? You call yourself a guide? I was unaware that, that was this was a guided trip, but I am frustrated that I haven't been able to find a sheep. I don't know why. Something well, with the snow that we don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was going to say. I have a little insight there, folks. Um... I know why we didn't see any sheep. And the reason is, sorry, I dropped my pole. The reason is, the reason why we didn't see any sheep is because it snowed six inches last night. And every sensible being on this basin moved down. Every track we did find was heading Except down. Except us. Except us, we headed up. We went to where I've seen sheep every other year, and, but. Oh, look, it's starting to come in. We saw none this year. Oh, no. More weather. And it's starting to snow again. <sighs> We're gonna head home. Wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>